Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cryptomina. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. Uh, two days ago, Rabbi Wallet posted on Twitter this image, which is a screenshot. This means that they are going to take a screenshot and drop the tokens. This is what it looks like. So there are a few things that you can do to position yourself for the airdrop if there is an airdrop. There is some chatter on the Twitter like why does a wallet need an airdrop or why there needs to be a token for a wallet. There are other wallets like Trust Wallet, they have their own native token. So I don't know, but if there is an airdrop, let's position ourselves for that. So first thing first, we are going to download the wallet. And for that, uh, you have to go to Rabbi.io and download your Chrome extension. You will also need to download a wallet for desktop. So first, download a Chrome extension. You can either create a new wallet, load it with some funds because you will need to do some swaps. Uh, when you download the wallet, your wallet look, looks like this and there is a swap functionality. I will suggest use any change but Ethereum because of the gas fee. I hope you know that already. Do some swaps, swap between the stablecoin or just do a swap from BNB to stablecoin or whatever you want to do. One swap is enough. Doesn't matter what amount. So do the swap. There is no fee for the swaps. But um, once you do the swap, you can come to DBank. Now this is an interesting part of DBank and the Rabi Wallet team is the same team. I am extensively using DBank because it's one of the very easy way to know what you have been doing because it's easy to forget what you have done uh, in the past on a chain. But if you link your wallet to it, it shows you if you are farming, you have put your token into pool and where they are. So this is very useful. You can do it with multiple wallets as well. And so the same team, DBank team and Rabi Wallet team is the same team. So once you have done the swap, one swap is good. You will come to this. This is the official badge page and you will click on mint. You don't need to do anything other than the swap. You will click on mint and then you will get a code. And when you get the code, you will come to your wallet, go to the more option. And there you will see the batch tab. On that batch option, you will put in the number that you have copied from DBank and ta-da, you are done. You will have your batch now in the wallets. So that's one thing you can do. Remember to do swap even after that just because um, maybe the airdrop will depend on how many swaps you have done or how regularly you have done or the volume of the swaps. So it is good to position yourself that way. Um, you can keep using MetaMask or import the MetaMask here. I like Rabi Wallet because it's easy to use, its uh, UI is much better um, and even if they are not going to do an airdrop, that is fine because I like the product. Now, remember I told you you will need a desktop wallet. So yes, download the desktop wallet. When you download the wallet, it looks like this. You can connect with your MetaMask and then you have to do two more things. You have to go to dApps and enable one of the, the apps. So I enable Lido. You can go ahead and do any any other. And once you do it, you will be able to mint a Genesis NFT. So remember, it takes 0.07 NFETH. That is around $17, $18. So you will have to spend that to get Genesis NFT. And that will be it. You are done. There are a few other things that other people are talking about. For example, on DBank, there are a few other batches you can get. If you are using DBank for a long period of time, there is like one for like 100 years, you are using it for 1000 days. Um, but I believe that will be more focused toward DBank, not for Rabi Wallet. And this post is supposed to be for Rabi Wallet. So I will ignore it. There is another thing you can also do is to mint your Web3 ID. Now that is a little bit expensive. It is around $100. And then again, I feel it is more focused to DBank rather than the Rabi Wallet. So I avoided it. But if you feel like you need to do it, you can go ahead and do it. And maybe there will be a airdrop for DBank. We don't know about it, but if you have any questions, leave in the comments below. I will leave all the links to the official in the description. Remember to use only official links. Happy investing and I will see you soon.